Thank you very much. So I started thinking of some very simple-minded question a few years ago. And it's a partly a sociological question. And so, so if you ask someone who does surface singularities, what kind of singularities he is doing? Well, then he might tell you, for instance, cusps. And then you ask what a cusp is, and then he would draw you a picture like this and say that these are just rational curves. And if you really push them, then he adds some negative numbers here, which are the self-intersections, and says this is the cusp. Okay. Now, this is not the cusp. Yeah? So this might be some picture of the exceptional divisor that you get in hopefully the minimal resolution or maybe the minimal log resolution. But, uh, but everything has, everything has normal crossing. But typically, surface singularity people, they, they stop here. They give you this picture, and then they assume that, that you are happy with this. And then you can then compute almost everything out of this, uh, this picture. And need for surfaces, for instance, out of this picture, you can compute the topology, everything about topology, but not some of the other algebraic invariants. And on the other hand, if you talk to someone who does higher dimensional uh, singularity theory, they never draw you a picture like this. Yeah? They always say something else. And so I ask myself, well, why can't you draw similar pictures in higher dimensions and just, and just be happy with it? So maybe you can then I get some singularities. OK, so, so then, OK, let's just go up just one dimension. And then let's see sort of what can, can we do. And so I would like to draw s s some configurations of of smooth surfaces with normal crossing intersections. And then I would like to know if it can be realized as the exceptional set for some singularity. Maybe are these singularities unique? Or sort of what can we say about the, uh, about the singularities? And so then I started the first picture I drew. It was just P2. Okay, And then, well, I knew that it can be realized as the exceptional set set of a resolution, I leave it as a homework to you. OK. Now then the next picture I drew, I just took, I just took two copies of P2 that intersect along a line. Really the simplest thing you can do in, in the three space, you have two surfaces intersect along a line. And I leave it as a homework to you that this will not be an exceptional set in any in any resolution where everything has simple normal crossing. OK, so the very next step is that you run into to some problems. OK. Now then another there thing I tried. OK, so, so what I did here, here, I took two copies of P2. OK. And then I would like to glue them together by, I look at the coordinate line, so I get this triangle, OK? And then I would like to just glue these lines together. And I get something. You can think about it as a triangular uh, pillow. You can put some stuffing inside the, the, the triangle, and it's a nice pillow. And so, OK, so now, well, I just said, so to glue these, these two together, but you see here I have a line with, say, the 0 and infinity fixed. And so that means this gluing is determined uh, by some constant, uh, by some non-zero constant. So maybe I have here Cx and Cy and Cz. So three numbers like this determine mean the gluing. Now, and then I ask myself, well, uh, well, so can this be realized on some exceptional set in some resolution? Well, if this is, is the case, then the surface I get at least should be a, a pr 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 projective surface. Yeah? So then I ask myself, uh, well, when is this projective? 
Hmm? Well, I would like a projective resolution, but at least it it's should. Hmm? It's well, it's so I think in the surface case, so so you see everything is at least relatively moisture. Yeah. So, so if if you think about it, even a, a, a sort of non-algebraic uh, proper birational morphism is dominated by. Hmm? Yes, yes, yeah, but, and so it, so it, it means that it should have at least, um, at, at, at least an F and big divisor on it, not necessarily ample, but should have at least an F and, and big divisor on it. Okay, so then you ask yourself, well, so the when is this projective, or when will it have an F and big divisor of it? Well, anyone knows the answer? Hmm? Well, the answer is that Cx, Cy, Cz should be a root of unity. Okay? And so that's maybe the second homework. Well, actually, maybe this is the third homework. So the first one is easy. So homeworks are getting harder here uh, in this list. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's sort of a negative thought. But then, then, okay, so maybe I'm just asking too much and, and maybe trying to, 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 to insist that everything be, be just smooth and normal crossing is, is, is too much. So let's see, what is it that, that we can do? So let's assume... Uh, that we have a surface. Now, in fact, this works in all dimensions, what I'm telling you, but the pictures that I can draw, I can barely manage in the surface pictures. And so, and so let's assume that the SIs are smooth and projective, uh, and, uh, and then all the singularities are just simple normal crossing. And this S itself be, be a projective surface. As this example sh shows, that might be hard to see from the picture uh, whether that's projective or not. But uh, let's assume uh, that, that I can start with something like that. And now uh, then, what I can do, I can just embed it in some large dimensional now projective space. So this was, was my assumption indeed here. And then, well, I can just, just take a general complete intersection 3, 4 that contains it. Okay? So then there will be some general complete intersection 3, 4 uh, that contains it. So there's a complete intersection. Now, if you, you, you use sufficiently high degree hypersurfaces, then so the, so the normal bundle, you expect it to be n n negative, and then you, you can, can contract it, it to a point, and you get a singularity like this. And so this maps to, to the, the point zero. Yes, yes, yes. Now, of course, as sort of this example shows, uh, this example shows x will be singular, OK? So maybe. Oh, okay, so it shouldn't be P3, so maybe N at least 4, I think, is a relevant condition. And so, but, uh, but the price I have to pay that I will get some singularities along it. And now the singularities, at least, at least in this case, is easy to, to, do, to describe if you just try to write down, 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 for instance, the hypersurface case, then you see the problem will be that it has a one dimension, a singular locus. And so for some hypersurfaces, you will get some, get some just moving ordinary nodes. Okay? So the, the, the singularities we get. Uh, and so. Uh, we get sort of every be moving 
ordinary nodes. And so the, that means sort of locally the picture will be, so, so if, if I'm just for space, then this S will be just say xy equals t equals zero, and then x will be xy equals zt. Uh, x, y equals z, t. So then these will be, be the equation. So that, uh, that, 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 that means that I have a small price to, price to, to, to pay that I get these ordinary nodes, and, and then I can, can realize it. Now actually, then it's not hard to see that, that you can resolve these, these singularities, for instance, without changing the, the dual complex that was defined in the first lecture. And sort of the easiest is to just start blowing up the components of S itself. And so that gives you some small resolutions of the node, not a particularly canonical process, but at least you end up uh, with the same UL complex. Okay, so then so sort of up to these sort of, you know, the small blow up, so it means I have not realized my original uh, configurations, but, but so up to, to some blow up in some rather unpredictable way along the intersections. In each point I have to blow up either one component <coughs> or the other. So up to this, this uh, small change, I can realize every surface as an exceptional null divisor. Okay, so the first step is okay. Now, uh, I should say that in this process, of course, I, so, uh, you know, the surface singularity people, they also write those numbers, so they give you the normal mal bundles, or at least uh, the degree. And, and, and in this is not easy to control the normal bundles. It's easy to, to make sure that they're, they're sufficiently negative, but if you want to, to precisely control the normal bundle of the, of the components, then I don't know exactly how to, to do it. So the, you see, sort of, one reason is that the, 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 the irreducible components of SI, they are not Cartier divisors in X3. So I do not really have a normal bundle. That, that also makes it hard after I blow up. But then there are some other uh, choices. So the normal bundle will not be completely under their control. But I will have some, some freedom. I mean, so, so, so if I know what this embedding is and I know what degrees I chose, I can write down what I expect the normal well, bundle to be. This gives me some freedom, but sort of not complete freedom. Okay, so what can I then, I then compute about these singularities, okay? And so originally I used this to, to, to do construct some, some new examples of terminal and low canonical singularities that, that were that were conjectured not to exist. And so, so I could really get some. And, and then I, I was having a long chat with Misha Kapovic. Uh, and then we decided that maybe we can do actually much more interesting things, things here. Well, so, uh, uh, Namely, we get these isolated singularities and we ask ourselves, well, how much we can compute about the link? So, you know, if you have the singularity, you intersect it with a small sphere, then so, 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 so for us this has dimension three, so you can look at the link of zero in y, and so that's a real five-dimensional five-dimensional compact manifold, and well, we asked ourselves, maybe we can compute something about this, maybe we can compute the fundamental group, okay? So then we ask ourselves, well, what can we say about the fundamental group? So what about, what about the pi one of the link, okay? 
Okay. Well, okay. So um, now, so uh, the, 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 these surface pictures they were used by uses by, by Mumford to, to compute to, to compute the link of surface singularities and understand the fundamental groups, at least at least uh, some case. So there is a rather there clear picture. Uh, okay. So, so the Mumford's picture, and so, uh, so you see, and then, and then, and here I have the point, and then, and then here I, so for Mumford I have just an exceptional curve, okay, uh, and then here I have y, okay. Now of course the link is just homotopy equivalent to y minus the origin. And so then, the, the, then if here I have here I have this resolution, say x, x to y, then then again here I I can continue with x with x minus the exceptional set, okay. And so then uh, Mumford says, well, this injects into x, and then this x itself this retracts to E, okay? So the, 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 this is homotopy equivalent to E, okay? And so it's a normal surface singularity, yes. Ah, and so this is, uh, this is X. <laughs> okay, okay, yes. No, no, that, that that's fine, that's fine. Okay, yes, and so then, uh, and so then, uh, and then uh, Mumford says that of course this means that there's a map from the fundamental group of the link, it subjects to the fundamental group of E, and then he says, well, what's the kernel? And it's not hard to, to write down generators of of the of the kernel. If you look at any of these irreducible uh, com components and you write on the small loop, so maybe this is EI, there's a small loop gamma i around it, then inside x it, it just contracts to a point, but in x minus e it is not clear at least that it, that it, it contracts. So then he proves that this is a subgroup generated by these gamma i's. And that least in the surface case, he writes down down relations. So there are some things that come up. So so for instance, if two curves intersect, yeah, then here sort of locally you have something like a C star cross C star. So then these two generators commute, and the, then the degree tells you that these are are, uh, are I don't know if they're torsion elements, but uh, but, but, but it's not easy to compute everything, and he does does the complete computation only in in in, in some cases. So, so he writes on all the relations only when the pi one of e is, is just trivial. Yeah. Oh, okay. But sort of that's the general well, picture that we have. That's the, 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 the pi one of e. Okay, and so let's start to work on this, on this uh, picture now. Where what about the pi one of e? Okay, and so you see that sort of you expect that that so this e, the exceptional set for us will be the same as this surface, and so then you are trying to understand the covering rings per basis of it. Now the, 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 so the two sources. That can so first these as I themselves may not be simply connected, and so you may get the some covering that induces a, a covering here. Now here we are running into a very hard problem that I need to understand the fundamental groups of algebraic surfaces, which is the same as the fundamental groups of any dimensional uh, smooth projective varieties and 
And so this conference, as all the others before, completely failed in, in, <laughs> in coming up with some answer. And so then, OK, then say that it's hopeless. Well, so let's assume that the SI themselves, they are simply connected, OK? That, that if you can't deal with the case, so OK, so let's now assume that the SIs are simply connected. So maybe the pi 1 of SI is just 1. This holds for every i. And now then this has the advantage that then the pi 1 of s, it just comes out of this dual complex. It comes entirely out of the combinatorial description that we have. So then in this case, this is just the pi 1 of the dual L complex of E. And then what is this? This is a two-dimensional simplicial complex. And hopefully, this can be arbitrary. And so then I get something interesting here. OK. Uh, now, well, so what about the kernel? What about the kernel? Uh, and so, and, and so the, there are these gamma i's here. And already in the surface case, it was pretty hard to understand what they do in general. Okay? And so, so that means it's really hard to believe that in higher dimension, we will be able to compute something that we could not compute already for curves. And so this is indeed a reasonable assumption, but but what happens here, that what used to be our blemish, that we ended up with singularities, they just write to our rescue. And so why? OK, so let's see. So what happens here with the local fundamental group of this x minus s? OK, so I have x, y equals z, t. And then out of it, I subtract the t equals 0. That means that t becomes invertible. And so then you see that this is the same as c cross c cross c star. This is just x, y, t. And so this maps to x, y. And then the z, I can just write x, y, t inverse, and then t. Now you see, so then uh, when I just had they just had two curves meeting thing transversally. Then the local cal fundamental group was C, the, the local to, to topology was C star star cross C star, and so all I could could compute that could conclude that the two gamma i's they commute. But you see here because of these singularities, but the local fundamental group has just one generator. And so instead of concluding that the, the gamma i's that come from the two components, they commute, I can conclude that they are equal. And now you see that if I have a subgroup and I wrote down generators and I prove that all the generators are equal, I'm in a much better shape than I was before. OK? So then, because of these singularities that, uh, th that we used to worry about, we should, we should feel reasonably happy about. And then the torsion argument is still applies. So then, then, then we conclude that the, that the, uh, the fundamental group we get is just some cyclic group of a certain order maps to pi 1 of L. This maps to the pi 1 of the dual complex of E. And now, in fact, it's not hard to squeeze this uh, the, 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 this here a little bit and, and to make sure that this is in fact trivial. Okay? So, so for, for, for instance, how can, can you uh, achieve this? So for instance, let's assume that one of the surfaces, it contains a smooth rational curve that is, that is disjoint from the other surfaces. Okay? Then uh, what will this x be? along this smooth Schlesinger curve, you get an S1 bundle. And so what's an S1 bundle over an S2? Well, well that's a length space. A and the normal bundle, the degree, exactly tells you the fundamental group of it. And so for instance, if, there's the e e 
if I can make sure that I have two of such rational curves and, and the degree of the normal bundles is relatively prime, then one tells me that the gamma has order m1, the other order m2, and they are relatively prime. So then I, I could, could kill this. And that's sort of not, not too hard, hard to do a range. OK. And so now, now of course, uh, the, 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 then, then here we, we have, have what? So then, then, then we say that uh, 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 I just have this two-dimensional simplicial complex, and then the fundamental group of the link is isomorphic to that. So what do we know about, uh, about a two-dimensional simplicial complexes? Well, so the fundamental group can be arbitrary. Well, sort of not arbitrary, there are the, the finitely many generators and finitely many relations, but that just any compact pack CW complex or what has has this property. Okay, so so then uh, assuming that the existence part is okay, and so then the theorem will be uh, that that uh, for any for any and, 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 and if finitely presented group, group gamma, there is a three-dimensional isolated singularity zero in y such that that the pi one of the link of zero y this is isomorphic isomorphic to gamma. Okay. And now, so, hmm? uh, finitely presented, OK? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. OK, so, so you see. Uh, the the key thing is that sort of this this holds this holds for the examples that came from my construction that I really needed that whenever two components meet then the x will will pick up an ordinary node along that so in general if you just resolve everything. You do not have these ordinary nodes, and you think you are better off. But in fact, but, but in fact, then you end up with something. There's no way to compute, and these nodes actually completely save us. The, 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 the nodes make it possible for, for, to uh, understand the kernel. Yeah? And so, so in in sort of something sort of the right side, it, 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 it's 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 okay. For, 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 everything but the left side uh, applies to our construction so that's a, a problem if you want to understand so the all the singularities then if you don't that then the kernel is is actually very hard in higher dimensions in general but but this in our case it's okay uh, okay so uh, now and so this is a quite surprising thing, statement. Actually, if you think back, I mean, ever since uh, ever since Grothendieck, the pr pr proved his local left shirt, shirt theorems, there was this belief that uh, the, the, you know, the singularities is isolated singularities. They are very much like just cones over projective variety. That if you have a theorem uh, about projective varieties and their topology, then the way to, to prove it, at least one way to prove it, you prove something about isolated singularities and then you apply it, it, it to, 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 to cones. And, and so, no, 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 as far as I know, uh, this principle it, it, it holds at the level of homology. But it doesn't seem to hold at the level of fundamental groups. Yeah? So, so links can have links, links can have pretty much arbitrary fundamental group. Uh, uh, but 
but for projective varieties, uh, they, they only have some very restricted to the types of, of, of fundamental group. Okay, so, well, now, and so then to, to, to get this, I, I still owe you, of, of course, to show, especially in view of these examples, that, that, that if you give me a two-dimensional simple show, complex, then I can write down a, a projective normal crossing surface with simply connected the components uh, th th that realizes that dual uh, 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 complex. So, so, so we still need this one construction. Uh, and so Ah, and so that so um um actually that's 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 so you see that it's a local computation that you have to do for here. In in fact, I I think that the surface case this was already done by Kleiman. At some point, if you take a general, well, so so I, I think that the case that was computed a lot, you have a normal crossing surface in P4, <coughs> and you look at the general three four that contains it. What kind of singularities is that has? That's a very, very classical computation, and so no, 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 no. this is the only singularity that does. Something interesting. So uh, where three surfaces meet, I, meet, I have only finitely many points, so nothing happens there. Things happen along the curve, and there will be some further A1 singularities at some smooth points of S, but they, they again do not, not matter in topology. When you go to higher dimensions, then you have to worry about the higher low dimension low side, but you get some. So a rather similar, so, uh, uh, so, so at sort of some point, the singularities that you have to deal with, they will look like somehow the product of yi equals the determinant of some xij. So these will be the, the typical singularities. In our case, it's a 2 by 2d by to determine that somehow this is equal to zero or, or something like that. So, but, 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 but uh, this rather restricted the class that, uh, that the vector can write down explicitly. Okay, so then about the exist then question. Okay, so uh, now, and, and so here there, there are, uh, um, so uh, here, life with curves is is in fact much easier, yeah? and so because if you say that I have that, so for instance, you say that you would like to have this picture, yeah, then just take one curve, you take another curve, pick three points in one, three points on the other, and you can glue them together. Okay, now. You, you would like to do something similar for, for surfaces. Okay, so then, for instance, the simplest is, well, um, oh, okay. so let's assume that you would like to realize something like the dodecahedron, okay? And so then, of course, you would say that I start with these. Okay, so I can start with with P2 and five lines like this. Okay, that's completely fine. And then you take another there similar thing. So here you take another one. And then you say, well, these two lines have been glued together. Okay? And then also for these lines you do it and you glue it together and then you declare that you are happy 
But in fact, you are not happy because, well, of course, these two lines intersect. So that means that this suddenly forces an intersection between this phase, this phase, and sort of that phase when you did this identification. And we do not want that, okay? And well, and so the surface case is very easy to, to correct for this. So that means that, that you know, when we are interested in, the, in sort of just this one, now, of course, I should blow up any intersection points that I do not want, okay? So that, that means that, uh, that I have to blow up the five extra intersection points. And then I really just have this, this configuration, and I can do the gluing that, that co 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 corresponds to something thing, uh, that's that. I expect. And for surfaces, this is all you have to do, that somehow you have to, to take into account what happens with your neighbors. But so starting thing, uh, with dimension three, there are some higher dimensional effects. So sort of the neighbors, they tell you the co-dimension one points on, on this, but the second neighbors tell you about unexpected dimension dimension three points. So sort of you have to to know as you go up in the dimension, you have to know more and more of your neighbors before you decide what what to do. And then there is of course the issue of, of how to make sure that the gluing in is projective, but but but, but at least this way, especially in the surface case, you can really, really know exactly what are the surfaces that you are, are gluing. In higher dimensions, in fact, it is much quicker to do. Uh, the, 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 the you start with a configuration that has uh, many, many uh, more intersections. So, so for, for, for instance, if you would like a, like a two-dimensional simplicial complex, uh, and so the vertices say E1, 1, En, well, then the easiest is that you, that, that you start with P3, and you just take the union of n planes inside PC and general planes. Well, there's a simple normal well, crossing divisor, but the point is there, and so where there any two planes intersect and any three planes intersect. Now you see that if you do not want a, want a two-dimensional simplex, but just blow up where the three planes intersect. And then after you did that, if you do not want a one-dimensional Simplex, then you blow up where those, those, uh, where the birational transforms of the two planes intersect. Okay, and, and so then you get uh, a, a construction. But, but you see, this has the advantage that that uh, what happens to Li, you need to know here not just your neighbors, but everything else in this simplicial complex. On the other hand, the advantage is that whatever you get, it sits inside some P3 blown up, so the projectivity is not something that you have to worry about. Okay, and so the, and sort of that comes, comes for free. And, and, and in fact, this contraction is easier uh, to achieve. So if you have some normal crossing surface that sits inside a threefold, then you just intersect it with a uh, with some very, very ample divisor, and you blow up the intersection. And that will turn the normal bundle negative. And in fact, is especially in this example, that, uh, you, uh, that gives you a lot of control over the normal bundle. So not, not complete, but degrees relatively prime is they end up uh, rather easy. The, in this case. Okay, so that means that, that, that we get this uh, 
uh, this result. Now, what else else can you do? Well, and so uh, uh, are there some special classes where where we can uh, reasonably hope to get something? Uh, well, um, so maybe let's have another theorem here. So. Um, so there have been some conjectures yeah, uh, that, uh, that something special nice happens if you have some rational singularities, OK? So let's see. So what are rational singularities? And so, what's the fundamental group of a, a, of, of, of any simple show complex? I mean, you start with the one skeleton, yeah, and then that gives you a free group. Each time you attach a simplex, that's one relation, yeah, and so, so, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, and so that's 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 harder. That's or 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 so. And so, oh, come on, come on. What do you mean? Hmm? Wait, wait, this is this is a, a compact CW complex. Hmm? <laughs> no, no, no. The pi two of the universal cover will be infinite, but not the pi two itself. Yeah, yeah that's the same. Oh, okay. But anyhow, <laughs> anyhow. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. I'm not sure. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. And so rational singularities. Okay. And so, um, so that means that that if I write down a resolution x to y, and this map is f, the rational means that the r i f lower star o x is zero for i larger than zero. Okay. And so that, that's, uh, the, and it's a nice class. In effect, it means, so I think what I like to, to say that, so if, that if V is a vector bundle <coughs> on Y, then the HI Y V is the same as the HI X of the F upper star V. And so if you are used to, 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 to computing cohomology group, group vector bundle, you can basically pretend that it's smooth. So it's not smooth, but the singularities, they do not, not affect the cohomology is not just a vector bundle. OK? And now, uh, and so, uh, the, and, and there was a belief, or even, uh, a conjecture uh, that that so in this this case this E will be so very very special um, and so so I think that was a conject or a, 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 so this was not the conjecture but it's a consequence uh, it, it, it's sort of a very special case of what several well. P where people conjecture, so if zero of i has rational singularities, then the pi one of the link has to be finite. Okay. Uh, and so, um, and uh, then so one uh, one nice case is so if a singularity is is 
KLT, well, it was proved long ago that these singularities are rational. This was proved essentially by Alkic. And then uh, sort of uh, we have seen in Chen Yangshu's talk that so the, uh, the KLT E -E -T. This implies that you know, the pi one of a link is indeed rational. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the pi one of a link of a KLT is finite. Yes. Huh? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes. 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 That's the. the that's fine. So. So, oh, okay, so maybe the dimension at least three. Yeah, 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 it will. Hmm? But you have your argument that it depends on the singularity. Ah, well, so what kind of singularity do we get? I have to check when do we get rational singularities, yeah? But I was just saying, so there you use the argument that the comma i's are the same. Yes. And so I am not claiming anything yet. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying the the, 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 the KLT this implies rational, uh, and uh, also KLT implies that the fundamental group is is finite. Well, maybe what was proved that the algebraic uh, fundamental group is is finite. But, but yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, well, you know, we moved into higher dimensions. Yeah. Huh? Yes, yes, yeah. But so so if you define the link as intersect with a small sphere, then then isolatedness doesn't matter. So then it's a singular space, the link itself. But 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 well, it's okay. Oh, okay. So now Let's see what can we do with this construction. So when will the singularity t that I get uh, be rational, OK? Um, and so let's see. Hmm? What's the question? Okay. Uh-huh. And so, so what was uh, will the link be? So out of the link, you create essentially a cylinder, and then you add back the cone at sort of the two ends. And so whatever whatever fundamental group you had, you just completely squish. So the old fundamental group gets completely squished by that. Okay, okay. Uh, and so and so when. Do we get some rational uh, singularities here? Okay, so then I need to to make sure in these examples that I understand the Ri f lower star star o, o, o x. And now, as usually, sort of you know that this subjects onto well, so to, to I just try to, to to compute this using Zariski's main is. Uh, is main theorem, so I know that this will be just the inverse limit, and I need to compute the hi of O. I take n times the times the exceptional set. So sorry, maybe okay. So maybe n times the exceptional set O, n times the e exceptional set, and then if I go from n to n plus one, but that involves the normal bundle. Now if the normal bundles they are sufficiently negative, then they, they will not have cohomology. So if the normal bundle 
of E is sufficiently negative, then, then in fact, I can assure you, we can be sure that this is the same as the, 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 the HI of E, OE, okay? And so the, that, again, I just have to, to make sure that, that, that uh, so I think my surface is uh, vanished, that it has, that it has no HI, so, okay. And now, uh, again, it's not hard to, to write down. Uh, you see, the pieces that I have in my construction, I start with rational surfaces, the individual uh, components, they are rational surfaces. And so that means they do not contribute to, to EI. So that if the individual components are rational surfaces, then it's not hard to see that this is, again, the same as the HI of, uh, of just the dual complex. Okay? And so that means that I am really down to a completely, uh, a, a, a completely topological question. And so then, uh, then I have a simple show complex, uh, which, which, is, uh, uh, which has no cohomologies with Q coefficient. What can I say about the fundamental group? Okay? And now, uh, and here surfaces are not enough. So surfaces, they do not answer everything. But if you go to dimension 3, then you get, I think, this is a result that goes back to Hopf, that you get that the, 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 the possible fundamental groups, they are exactly the groups who, group whose first and second cohomology G, uh, with the Q coefficient and vanishes. And so and the first homology vanishes, that's called a perfect group. And the first two vanishes, sometimes called a super perfect group. And I hear uh, but sort of these notions, they are really were designed with Z coefficients. So here I have all, only the Q coefficients. And so, so, uh, so that means that if I have a three-dimensional rational singularity uh, that, OK, so can get link, links with pi 1 equals any Q super perfect group. And so now you should uh, know that there are lots of, uh, the, 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 there are lots of rather complicated infinite groups. Yeah? And so for instance, you start with your, with your, 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 your favorite, uh, where it uh, three-dimensional Q homology sphere or, or something like that, then that will have a fundamental group like this. Okay? Um, and so now, uh, but you see, there is the, 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 the there is exactly the, the per problem here. Then here we do not have the converse. And the uh, converse is exactly this kernel problem that we can control things that come out of our construction. But we cannot control things that, that do not come out of our construction. And so, so the, 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 that's the kernel problem. And if you think about the, uh, uh, about the surface example, where they have some ra where, where surface rational singularities, they have some rather complicated the, the fundamental group, they always come from the kernel part. And so the, I mean, our theorems, they, theorems, they understand this part. Yeah? And so now if for some reason we can prove that this doesn't matter or it's not there, then we have a complete description. But, but, uh, but we don't know, know exactly what happens with the kernel, but at least in, in sort of so the higher dimension, so this part is already rather uh, complicated. So you can, can uh, make this into a different only if, if statement that, that, 
that sort of these are, are, are precise little groups that, that are obtained as the fundamental group of, of the dual complex of a resolution of a rational singularity. Okay? Now, I do not claim that, that these are the groups that you get when you look at the pi 1 of E already. Well, 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 that's already a problem because you just start with a fake projective plane that, that if that's the exceptional divisor, since it has no, no homology, normal bond is sufficiently ample, then, then there will be a rational uh, singularity resolution consists of just the fake projective plane as its exceptional divisor. And then, of course, that has a complicated created fundamental group, which is not, not Q super perfect. Yeah, I think in Domingo's talk, we saw exactly some, no, no, maybe not. But anyhow, so they are not, not, not Q super. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so the, 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 the art, yeah. So, so he showed us the only e e example that does not give a rational singularity. Yeah. So that was, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Uh, and, and so, so that in some sense, these methods, they really, they, they, they uh, understand reasonably well the dual complex. And now, so for the higher, yeah, homotopy groups. It's it uh, it's it is rather complicated. So so you see that it, it's sort of reasonably so so we we sort of really needed things that irreducible components themselves they do not contribute to the fundamental group, yeah? And so, and so, but, but if you have an algebraic variety, then you always get some pi two, especially I sort of blew up a lot, yeah? So, so that means that the components themselves has a lot of pi two that enters into the, the picture and we don't know any thing uh, about that. But it is possible that this in some cases one can compute what happens. And so maybe I just would like to like to end with, with just one nice example that that I would like to to achieve that it would give me some some nice further examples. Okay? And so then, in, in some sense, I already, already started with this, this dodecahedron. So, so but what did I have? I started with this, OK? And then, well, to, to get the dodecahedral gluing, I had to blow up the five other intersection points. So then the individual surfaces, they are these, these degree the degree five del wait. Oh I I so I won't rather degree five del pezzo surface, but on a degree five del pezzo surface you can still get, get the typical anti-canonical cycle the chain of five rational curves. And so then I start with these and then out of these I can assemble a, a dodecahedron. And uh, if you just look at this, then, then the surface, surface whose canonical class is trivial. Yeah? And so that means that it's L, that there is a surface, the union 1 to 12, and so that is del pezzo 5, a union of, of 12 of them, and it has trivial canonical class. And so, well, so my question is, is there a, there, uh, there a smooth threefold that contains x? Well, then you expect that the, that the minus kx is just s. Yeah? And so will this be an anti-canonical cycle on a, a, a smooth threefold? Is there such an x? Hmm? 
I don't know. Um, and so for sort of some gluing, yeah. So I mean, any, any configuration like this. <coughs> well, a, and so I don't think you can do it when X itself is final. Yeah, and it's so, 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 so there aren't that many finals. Yeah. I actually no. I want to do something else with this, so I don't need uh, <laughs> the negativity. Okay. Well. 